So I think we're going to have to get the old blackboard out for Marjorie Taylor Greene, folks. She's going off the deep end, once again, talking about NATO, something she knows totally nothing about. And as evidence of that, she was on Steve Bannon's War Room podcast today. Have a listen to what she said, folks. It, it's borderline embarrassing. Republicans in Congress just voted that we should leave our allies altogether that we should break up the big Western alliance, that we should defund NATO. And I think nobody really paid attention to this vote because this legislation was put forward by a very fringe member of Congress, a member of Congress who is known for her publicity stunts, and she is therefore eager to, uh, eager, sorry, I am eager, <laughs> she is easy to ignore. <laughs> But it wasn't just her. 46 Republicans voted for this thing. A fifth of the Republicans in Congress last week voted to defund NATO. <laughs> Don't just forget being the leader of the free world. Forget the whole idea of there being a free world at all. They saved that for the anniversary of D-Day. 46 Republicans voting to defund NATO. Uh, yeah, Rachel, because most of those nations in NATO's, NATO were on the other side of the football or neutral, <laughs> leaning towards Hitler, ma'am. you got to learn your history. Must learn your history. Uh, the fringe member of Congress now joins us, Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia. Uh, Rachel Maddow is not happy with you. The ruling elites of this nation are not happy with you, uh, Congressman Greene. Can you explain what you were trying to accomplish? Well, of course she's not happy. Rachel's never accomplished anything real in her entire life. <laughs> she's only lied on television uh, uh, for a living. Um, you know, I've run a, a company, a construction company, most of my adult life before I came into Congress, Steve. Please I go back. It's like to be an American and a business owner um, working hard every single day. And Americans are fed up with funding and paying for the defense of other countries while our country is overrun and our border is ripped wide open and we have people millions and millions of people from over 160 countries around the world come so they're talking about nato but she just can't help but get in a little bit of a dig about immigration because that's another thing that they absolutely hate so she's making up all sorts of claims that really don't exist and don't address the fact that we obviously need legislation for immigration, right? And not executive orders. But here she goes. In, taking our jobs, sleeping on our streets, taking over our schools, taking over hotels, taking over our cities, and getting in our police officers' faces, committing crimes, and murdering Americans. We're fed up with it. And, and, and NATO, all these European countries, they don't pay their fair share. So why should America continue to, to pay for the defense of all these other countries when they are unwilling to even pay their fair share. It's the right thing to do. That's not a fringe thing to do. That's a pro-America thing to do. And that's something that Rachel Maddow has no understanding and doesn't even know what it's about. You know, folks, the, the problem with Marjorie Taylor Greene is I just can't tell if, quite frankly, she's stupid or ignorant. I, I can't tell because... You know, as a country, we obviously spend more on defense than just about anyone else in the world. So from that perspective, we do spend a lot of money on defense. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give her that if, if that's even where she was going with it. But when it comes to NATO, um, you know, as far as a direct contribution to NATO, we only contribute 22% to the NATO budget. 22%, the United States. And the way NATO, NATO works is that the idea is that each country should spend 2% of their gross domestic product on their own defense. Nobody pushes money to another country, right? You know, she doesn't get it. Nobody pushes money to another country's budget for their defense, right? It's not like we're writing checks. Nobody, nobody's writing checks, Marjorie, for, <laughs> for another country. And, I mean, I just think it's uh, it's astounding that she doesn't get that. Each country is expected to pay 2% in their own defense of their gross domestic product. And, folks, what, what she thinks is happening and the reality of what's happening out there are two different things. Because a lot of these countries are actually exceeding 
at 2%. Take a look at this. So this is coming to us from the Department of Defense. It says Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin III said in a statement that NATO has projected 18 allies will spend at least 2% of their gross domestic product on defense this year, and those not spending at least 2% should have plans to swiftly meet that target. The Secretary General pro projects that in 2024, 18 allies will spend at least 2% of their GDP on defense, a major improvement over 2014 when only three hit that target. Any ally not spending at least 2% of GDP on defense this year should have plans to swiftly meet that target. 18 allies will spend at least 2% of their GDP on defense this year. So, no. We, no. We are not paying for other countries. The article goes on to say that NATO is the strongest military alliance in history, and it is crucial for America's continued security, Lloyd Austin said in a statement. He went on to say that NATO has become even more capable last year when Finland joined the alliance, and he again heard, urged Hungary to support Sweden's entrance into the alliance, which happened on March 7th. So, folks, no, the United States is not paying into NATO to make up for countries. And in, in effect, all of these countries are paying over 2% now for their defenses as a part of NATO. So she's she doesn't even know what the facts are. And yet she somehow got 46 members in Congress to vote to get us out of NATO. I mean, this is the strongest alliance, folks. Harry Truman put this into effect, and it is the strongest alliance against China, the strongest alliance against countries like Russia and the rest of them. We need to have NATO, folks. It's an incredibly strong alliance. We all know this. Everyone knows it, evidently, except Marjorie Taylor Greene. Till next time, folks.